Thanks very much for welcoming me out here to your place here in Florida. It's beautiful. Yeah, Brendan, great to have you around and nice to have you and, and the mellow circumstances in a, in a great area. Yeah, it's oh. so cool. Tell us, mate, what's happened in the last year? I know the Baker factory's got a lot bigger since I was there last time. Yeah, yeah, we, we're, we're coming along good. I mean, we've got, you know, the two Supercross tracks. The outdoor track is good, and I feel like we've got a good setup, and I've got a good bunch of guys, you know, with me and, and, and riding, and I feel like we're uh, really in a good place. The guys turn up and everything is there. Now, how good is that for a rider, you know? Like, it is really professional. Yeah, and, and that was the goal, is to have the one-stop place. And, and finally, the gym, which wasn't a priority in the beginning, but that's coming around, and, and still there's some machines coming, and there's gonna be a second story in there. So there's still things that are on that, that project that, that are gonna make it a lot better, but it is important for them to be able to come to a place and, and be able to get everything done, and also kind of feel like homely, something that they want to be at and not be, ah, oh, let's get this done and get out of here. What's happening with the four guys now? How do you deal with four guys and one being a, an enduro rider? I've always felt that four is, is really manageable. The group that I have, obviously, you know, we all know that Ryan's the, the number one guy, right. you know, and then Marvin having moved up from the 250 to the 450, basically the rookie, and then I feel you've got Jason Anderson kind of in between. You know, they've all got the potential, both Marvin and Jason, to be the next guy. Then I've got Caleb, who's off-road, so he's no threat to these guys. Yeah. But I think it's good for him, because what he does is, is a lot different, a lot longer, yeah. but the intensity levels are different. When you say Dudgy's your number one guy, does that mean you put more effort into Ryan, or? No, there's, and that's, that, actually that's questions come up quite a few times. No, they're all monitored the same. They're just at different stages in their career and at their levels. Ryan's a multiple champion. We all know where he's at, and the other riders also look at him in that way. You know, not to say that they feel like they're, oh, we have we, we've got no chance against this guy. No, they can easy, and on days, are faster than him. To me, it's just a case of getting that, that mentality right where, you know, they can see where they're going and use it as a platform to make themselves better. So, my question, who trains the hardest out of the four boys now? You know, that's a tough question, you know. I, I mean, they all give their full effort. So I, I, I can't say that you can really pinpoint or who trains the hardest. The reason I ask that is you see, there's always that one guy that stays back at training, kicks balls, right. and is yeah. there one that, you know, I, well, I, I think with you know motocross and supercross, when you start to really see that, is, uh, which one is the one that's really wants to apply himself the most, it's under difficult situations. I always say the guy that you see that's the last to leave on the test days, he's more likely the guy that's really committed because no, no one likes that part of it. And I gotta give respect to, to Ryan because he's done a lot of those days where it's almost the sun's going down and you got to quit now, yeah. and then he has to. I think that's impressive with Ryan as well because he's been at, at it for so long. Yeah. And he's won championships. He's done things. I think that's pretty cool that he yes. can still he's still driven to you know want to win, and that's why he does win. Right, and and that is the the, the tough one because as you you get further in on the, on the years of doing these seasons and these long championship runs or you know series, it is impressive to see the guys you know commitment and the will to still push on, even through you know ups and downs and that, to, to want to come back and, and do it right and give that extra effort, you know.